Hello everyone, Brian here again, and this time I'll be doing a quick review on the brand new Gerber Pack Hatchet. And here it is. Alright, so um, before I get into it, I'll just go over the quick specs on here. Uh, it is in full length from tip to butt, it's 4.96 inches, and it comes with a very sharp blade length of 3.5 inches. It weighs in at 20.8 ounces and is made out of stainless steel construction. And on the packaging, it only says the steel is CR, and it's possible that it could be 7CR, 19MOV, 9CR, 19MOV, or in that range, knowing Gerber's history of using this type of steel in the past. Uh, that being said, the blade is a tall grind for optimal sharpness, which is sharp enough to cut most things straight out of the package. And if I am correct on the type of stainless steel construction uh, being that, then you have, then you can expect to have the ability to put on a edge sharp enough to cut hairs. However, that being said, be prepared to sharpen more often than its older and bigger brothers that use forged steel like the, uh, the Gerber Camp Gator Axe and the 9 inch hatch, uh, hatchet both from Gerber and Fiskars. So let me go ahead and get right into it. And I'm going to talk about the sheath here in a moment and tell you what I don't like about it, which is the whole thing. Um, all right, so what's really nice about this axe, here it is. Let me get that in focus. What's nice about this axe is that it is full tang. Uh, it has the ability to choke up um, on, you know, close to the head of the axe or the, close to the head of the hatchet. Uh, so it can be uh, used more for a more precise cutting and or slicing like a knife. Uh, the handle itself is extremely ergonomic. Uh, it's very rubbery. It's very much anti-slip. It's got this little lip here too to aid that. Um, and you could also use a fire steel in the back to go ahead and uh, strike. However, uh, when you first start using this, you may see that I finally wore the paint off of it. It takes a little while the first time, so before you take this out, you know, out in the wild, if you plan to do that, uh, I would say practice with a fire steel before you do that because the paint, it is very difficult, uh, when the paint's on there, it's very difficult to light any kind of strike. So I'm going to give it a shot here, and let me see if I can get one going now. Yeah, you see, I'm still hitting, there we go, I'm still hitting a lot of the paint, so it's difficult to hit. Um, that's why you probably should have a striker with you or, you know, use the back of your survival knife. Um, next, uh, while it does have some good weight for the size, you know, I'm not saying that this is, you know, the all end all end all, uh, but while it does have good weight for the size behind it when swinging, this is also one of the lighter hatches I've ever used. Uh, the pack hatchet, um, as you can tell here, it comes with a lanyard hold, and the uh, sheath here that I actually don't like at all, uh, it comes with only one option, which is belt carry, but it's small enough to stick in your pack just about anywhere. Now, someone may actually point out, let me see if I can prop this, can I prop this up? No, I don't think so. All right, someone may actually point out that this, that this hatchet uh, looks very similar to that of the Bear Grylls survival hatchet. And before I finished demoing this, and before I finished demoing this hatchet, I did make a call to Gerber Gear and pointed out the same question because it was also kind of a little bit of a concern of mine. Because I know that the Bear Grylls uh, survival hatchet is now being used with 7CR17 MOV steel. Um, however, and I actually should have brought this up in the first place during the beginning of this review. They actually told me this is actually made of the 9CR19 MOV steel, which is slightly upgraded. Uh, and also, as I pointed out, unlike the Bear Girls hatchet, there is a bottom lip here to add, you know, to add for secure, you know, security so it doesn't fly out of your hand. And uh, you could also lash it to your hand using paracord. Not saying that the Bear Girls version doesn't have a hole for the lanyard, but you get the idea. Um, and also, it's also a few dollars cheaper, depending on who's selling, at least for now, as it is predicted that the price of this hatchet will increase in about a month or two. Now, i got to go over some of the cons here. Uh, there are some things that I did not like about this hatchet, uh, so let me just get right to it. Um, unlike Gerber's other small camp hatchets, 
please don't expect way too much from the back end. As you can see, it's very thin. So I would say don't expect to use it as a hammer. Uh, you're not going to be very successful. Uh, it's not anything like the camp axe where, you know, it's just like this wide, broad um, uh, rear. And also, this axe, because it's so thin, it tends to stick in a large logs as opposed to chopping smaller branches. And I wish they used buttons instead of the, Vel uh, instead of the Velcro on the sheath, but I'll get back to that sheath there. I just was looking at the sheath when I was talking about that. Um, so aside from the sticking, I mean, it, it, it goes in, no problems. And then here's, here's an idea. I haven't sharpened this yet. You know, I mean, it cuts just fine. Here, here are some other previous test cuts they had. I mean, if you ask me, that's pretty sharp to begin with. But like I said, it's, it's a hatchet. It's not really a camp axe. I mean, yeah, there's not much more to say about that, really. Um, the sheath. Let me go back to the sheath because this is bugging the hell out of me. The sheath is a pain in the ass, and I say that openly. Reason being, I feel that it could have been made better. So, like I said, it's only got one carry option. Let me uh, tighten that up. It's got one carry option, belt option. However, like I said before, it's small enough. You can stick this in your pack just about anywhere. One thing I hate about this, it's got Velcro. I hate that. Absolutely hate that. I wish they used buttons. Secondly, when you're getting this, this axe out, unlike the, uh, the camp axe, when you push up, okay, so now it comes out. When, normally when you push up, this edge here tends to get stuck right around here and making it really difficult to get it out. And also, the handle, there we go, the handle is so rubbery that it has a hard time uh, exiting the sheath right here. So, I mean, I just feel that the sheath wasn't made properly, or was poorly designed, I should say. And then when you put the sheath, when you put the uh, axe back, when you put the hatchet back into the sheath, you know, sometimes you're going to be struggling to get it in there. And if you're left-handed like me, you got to wear this uh, backwards. You know, you got to wear this uh, this way if you're, if this is going north. It, it's just... It's just a terrible, terrible design on the sheath. Absolutely hate it. So I'm gonna have one of my friends uh, make something out of Kydex for me and solve that problem right there. I mean, I just couldn't get it out, and I sure as hell have a hard time getting the thing back in. But at the same time, though, I gotta tell you, after using this hatchet to uh, chop wood chips for my smoker and lopping off the small branches to clean up my yard a little bit, um, I, I could totally see this taking the spot of a backup cutting tool or be used as a main or a main cutting tool. Um, at the time of this review, this hatchet, when it was given to me, it was moderately priced at around $33 at $50 respectfully. And it comes in two variants, Coyote Brown with the black blade, as you see here. And it also comes in Flat Sage, which is basically a green handle, with a stonewash blade, which is more, more like a, a silver, silverish looking handle. Um, other than that, I mean, it is what it is. It's just another cutting tool uh, and small chopping tool, I should say. Uh, I like it. I absolutely hate the sheath. Uh, so that's it. That's my review for the all-new Gerber Pack Hatchet. And this is Brian Soft for now. I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.